Hey, what did you guys, what did you guys do today? I'm here to listen. Wow, that's really cool. And how long have you been doing that thing for? Okay, alright. What made you want to start doing that? Oh, I see. Yeah, I think I have a friend who does that too. They haven't been doing it very long, but... I get, I get where you're coming from. So tell me about your relationship with your father. contact good the, morning the show with uh improv good improv improv very good and, experience and improv. even closer contacts uh-huh and featuring our brand new snail cam 1.0 put it up now isn't that oh we're putting it behind us yeah well that's why we bought this okay. green screen to wow. put everything we talk about look at that one up there. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. Here, move my arm. There. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to zoom in really close. No. Uh, yeah, no, the snail cam version one. One second, I'm going to move this. Yeah, well, this is only our first snail cam. We will have future variations or renditions. Just like NASA, you have to try something. You have to put a probe into the field of space or snail We're going to send cages. the snails to space. That will be snail cam probably four or five <laughs> once once we can afford the rocket propulsion system. They're so easy to take care of. Like, yeah, well, not in space. So They could be in space. <laughs> they could, like, if you put them in the space station, they'd probably be easy, but you'd have to pay for the space station. They do need a I'm lot of water. That in How the do they bring water to uh, the space station? Do you know? <sighs> probably, I don't know, space boats. <laughs> Space boats <laughs> and space <laughs> pirates. I don't know. Well, I, I I don't know why I went with. I why like did this, I go with that accent? We literally have not had a conversation until the camera's rolling. This yeah. is amazing. <laughs> uh, what What have you been up to? What's, what's um, the What's the What's the happenings going? On? Okay. Well, let's skip past all the things I've been doing in my life and talk about this morning where I ate a bowl of oatmeal, which doesn't seem interesting, but um, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> and I didn't know that. We ran out of yes, I I I am, and we ran out of oat milk. So I was just kind of like, well, I need to eat something quickly and go. So I just decided that I was going to eat oatmeal with milk today. Which is that why you went immediately to the immediately to the restroom when I got <laughs> here? Immediately, it's very quick. It's very quick. It's actually it's it's one of my worst fears of being lactose intolerant. Just the f it's the fact that I I choose to ignore it and continually eat lactose. But there's this like always this little nagging like sensation or this feeling in the back of my head every time I eat lactose. I know I'm gonna have to shit myself later. And then I'm like, what if I get checked for a random cavity search? Like what? what? <laughs> This is going to be so embarrassing. That is, it's going to be, you're going to be the most embarrassed person in prison. <laughs> I like, if I get pulled over and they're like, okay, Drop spread them. Like, spread them. I, I, I'm like, going to have to be like, officer, just so you know. <laughs> I had a milkshake <laughs> earlier. Milkshake. You know, by the way, okay, this is really cool. We're going to try this out now. There's actually presets for the lights we have. And one of them's police oh, the officer. Cop. Yeah. Hang on one sec. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with. The okay, hang oh. on. There you go. So now you're pulled over by uh, police. Okay, <laughs> here's Spray our improv. Down. This is our first improv. Oh God. Um, are you the police officer? Yeah. Okay. 
Sir, license and registration, please. Officer, I shit myself. <laughs> okay, that's that's the end of our first improv segment. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for that. This is... <laughs> I was, like, literally talking to Emily yesterday. I was like, maybe me and uh, Levi should take improv classes. <laughs> nope, not after that. Not after that one. We're good. We're set. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we have a great show we have a great show set up for you people that's gonna be so fun i'm gonna zoom in on me hitting that <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. um let's let's see i didn't finish ad. my statement oh, okay we have a great show for all of you today okay now okay. we can talk <laughs> okay hey guys well, with Jordan gone, I'm 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 here for you. I'm here to listen again. So, tell me about what's uh, what's been going on with your mental health lately. Right, I hear you. I, you know, that's not uncommon. People struggle with that sort of thing all the time. How have you been dealing with that lately? see well have you talked to anyone else about these issues that you're facing hmm. well you know as scary as it can seem it's really important for us to share our feelings with the people that we rely on close to us so they can know what's going on in our heads and know how to best support us Well, I'm glad to hear that. We'll talk again soon. Oh, I'm doing a new bit. Whenever you leave, I'm going to start being a, um, a therapist. But I only just, I just, I'm trying to say like general lines that will have a vague response and then I will respond to that again. Listen, we get it. You ripped off <clears throat> therapy, Gecko. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'll, and I'll do it again. I do it again <laughs> without a second thought. Okay. Well, Welcome back to the Therapy Gecko Show. Yes, here we are. Um, so this time we're going to try to be a little bit more structured, even though we have already gone way off the rails with that. We're going to try to do a little discussion, move to a sketch, and then you'll probably see an ad break or we'll go straight to the next discussion. So who here, show of hands, has seen the show Shark Tank? Wow, all of us. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everybody that was here. That's a 100 percent Yeah. Whoa. That's crazy. Anyways, um, yeah, I actually I mean, I actually haven't watched Shark Tank, like the actual show. I just see like clips of it and stuff, which I feel like is how everybody watches shows nowadays. Anyways, yeah. it's just YouTube clips. Um I actually have a friend who went on Shark Tank. Yeah, because I saw that in the doc and I was like, what? Yeah, no, he, um, his name, I don't know if I'm supposed to say his name or not. Anyways, I'm just going to keep it anonymous, but he was like a childhood friend of mine, and I, I don't know. I say friend, I haven't talked to him in a long time, but he was very nice when we were kids, so. Mm -hmm. um, but he went on, and he has this product with his friend, and they actually got, like, some decent money to oh, invest wow. from it. They've, like, yeah, and they've That's been crazy. selling it for a little while i know this is like so vague i just like don't know whether i should like say who this person Dox is or not someone. they've them. been on the show they've been so. on it yeah i know but i don't know if they want people to know that they have okay. any sort of connection to me and my <laughs> my <laughs> hooliganism <laughs> they're like <laughs> on twitter tomorrow ruin their business. the company oh like puts out a statement that's like we do not we associate, do not associate with, with, with close podcast. contact we are not fans we of have their seen activities. their shorts <laughs> And not everyone deserves but to have a podcast. Every time I open up YouTube shorts, the short I see that you've put up is like one of the most of like. <laughs> They're all going up. All of they them. are. <laughs> so vulgar. Yes, but they're so funny. They're very funny. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, with that being said, 
we thought that uh, we would try to show you how we might pitch if we had the opportunity to go on Shark Tank. In the jungle of entrepreneurship, only the strongest will survive. Will these two insurance salesmen have what it takes to secure an investment and save their company? Find out now as they enter the Gorilla Enclosure. Thanks for seeing us today. We're very excited to tell you about our product. This box. This box. Now, we're going to give you a good deal today. You can either have complete control of the business we're about to sell to you, or you can have this box. <laughs> now, you may think that's funny, but when you're trying to find the best insurance plan for your family, it can sometimes feel like a complete gamble just like trying to get this box. Yeah, you're choosing between an unknown or something way too expensive. Exactly, so our business plans to solve that problem by making the process of finding the best family plan for yourself easier for you. Two million on the box. Three, five. Well, there's not, I mean, the box is just a metaphor. The box isn't the box actually, isn't, yeah. There's, no, nothing in, we're, there's nothing in there. Three million dollars, 15% of the company, I get all of the box and you can make more boxes using my box facilities. Again, I've said it, I have connections in the box industry. Nobody knows boxes like I do. I am the box master. We're actually an insurance company, so we just like to say- Three million, three million for 20% of the box. Oh, you wanna, you wanna divide the box? Yeah. Now. I see the value in the total box. I'm not gonna try to divide you okay. into pieces. Don't I'm gonna listen take to the him. whole box. Don't You're listen gonna keep to the box no, together. Uh, there's I don't think they get I, Yeah, I don't think you we, three million dollars, fifteen percent of the company, I get all the of the box, there's, and you can make there's, more boxes. There's nothing in it. There's it's nothing empty. in the box. It's an empty box. There's, there's eight I'm million for the you. box. Eight million, really? Nine. Nine million? Ten million for the box and I'm gonna sweet the deal you for you. You can't afford that, you can't afford you that. Think I, I know your reports, I watch your earnings. Okay, well I know that that factory doesn't pay its workers humanely, so you know, we all have our dark secrets. Uh, I'd like to discuss with my partner. Really. 11 million okay. for the box. Okay, well, thanks to my human rights violations, I can afford 12. We should sell it on the box? Why, is it, why would we, we, why would we, we have a whole take... company, the shareholders. But the it's share, eight, there's no shareholders for this box. It's eight million dollars. We are on the third round of financing, dude. I know, we but we with can, eight million dollars, we, we, we can finance. Okay, this. twelve million for the box, and that's I. I cannot go any higher than that. I cannot bidding. justify it. Thirteen million on the box. Our, can you stop bidding? Let's keep our options open. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Listen, fellas. I think we got a bit confused here. Got off on the wrong foot. There's. We're not selling the box. Exactly. I want you to think- There's nothing there. Outside the box. Yes, exactly. Think outside the box. Think out, imagine the box isn't even there, okay? Imagine all the families that you could be helping with our new insurance company. Why are you still pitching insurance? All we're, all we're asking, all we're asking- Yes. Is $100,000 for 10% of the company. 10% is a it's wide, a, that's, that's a that's lot. That's a good chunk. It's a exactly. million dollar evaluation, and this is a multi-million dollar A million dollar, dollar valuation for 100,000. Okay, I'd like to get back on on, on topic here, Let's which is- Let's get back on track, yeah. We, we, want, we want the box. Are you sure you want the box? Are you sure? I want the box. I want the box, and he wants the box, which is why I said we, I yeah, think you know, we, I think, I, think, I don't think, think why don't they why get it? Why don't we go on this show? You see, I like that there's nothing in the box, actually, because it makes me see that these guys are transparent. They're right. here. They're here to sell. They're going to sell that box. It's not about what's in the box. It's about what it represents. Yeah. Which is cardboard taped together. Exactly. And, and I want that. I'm going to go nine million, nine and a half million, and you can stay at my home whenever you want and sleep with my wife. Do you ever think about how futile it is, what we're doing? You know, these companies... The only value they have is what we attribute to them. What's the difference between 12 million and... 14, 14 million on the box. Listeners, recently, statues have become a point of political polarization in this country, with many being 
torn down in outrage over the men they represent. And while LM Statues supports removing racist figures from our parks, our government buildings, there's still one question left to be answered. What will replace this empty monument? That's where LM Statues can help, by replacing the statue with a new one of a much less controversial figure, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Love him. LM Statues can create a custom Lin-Manuel Miranda statue for whatever your needs are. You can purchase Lin-Manuel Miranda in a suit. You can purchase Lin-Manuel Miranda sitting down. Lin-Manuel Miranda in Hamilton, baby Lin-Manuel Miranda, what Lin-Manuel Miranda might look like in the future when he's old, assuming he ages. We don't really know that for sure. Yeah, we don't. So the next time you tear down a statue of Robert E. Lee, give us a call. LM Statues. Imitable, original, the one thing in life you can control. So, do you know much about the invention of the telephone? Um, no, I wasn't around for that. Oh, so. okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> like, as far as I know, Alexander Graham Bell and the other guy that we don't remember because he didn't get to the patent office first, mm -hmm. literally were like days apart. From like, really? Like a filing for a patent, Dang. as far as I know. And it was very, very tense. And I think that's horrifying. Like, can you imagine working for something for years, and then the day comes and you find out that, like, I've been working on it too this whole time? Like, let's say, for example... Oh, what's an example? Um, uh, Name an invention. Invent uh, something, Levi. Sh <laughs> shoe. 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 Okay, so you... <laughs> Okay. So the, it's one of the first so it's, so it's <laughs> of the wheel five. <laughs> it's five thousand BC. It's probably earlier than it's that. Five thousand BC. Let's set the tone. Five thousand okay. BC. Okay, we are cavemen. We are cavemen. Uh, That's. <laughs> I put thing on foot. I also put thing on no, other me foot. first. Me. <laughs> I'm going to get to patent office. <laughs> <laughs> Not if Grunk beat you there. Grunk will use shoe to move faster to patent office. <laughs> so stupid. I like how we started. <laughs> Why is this the caveman walk? <laughs> like they didn't figure out how to walk. They were just making all cavemen were just walking around. And then until someone came like this and they were all, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I think it's really, it's actually quite awful that like, Cavemen were literally the same as us, had the same capacity to learn things yeah. as us, yeah. as far as we know. Uh, and we just treat them like they're fucking idiots. <laughs> they have feelings and emotions. Not in my book. Not in my book. <laughs> they lived in caves. <laughs> Lizards. <laughs> I live in my room. And their art sucks. <laughs> yeah, and their art was so garbage. Yeah. Can you imagine there's just like some deviant art stuff? <laughs> Cavemen. Caveman deviant art. It has like the anime <laughs> eyes. You know. It's on the cave wall. It's yeah. like fucking painted in the red. The like red finger ink. It's just fucking. It's just some anime girl with a sword and yeah. big fucking titties. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully a Chat GPT can make that art for us. Caveman art of caveman <laughs> art of <laughs> caveman and die. Caveman and die. Oh my god. Um, anyways, back to the topic at hand. Someone made the telephone, and someone was there for it. One might say we were there for it in close contact. Fade. <laughs> <laughs> we really gotta work on our transitions. Okay, hard gut. Hey, what's going on? Go ah. Good to see you, Levi. Yeah, what are you working on here? Oh, uh, you know, just one of my new inventions, actually. Ah, I think this one's gonna change What does this the world. one get up to? Shovel snow? Oh, no, not exactly. Well, you see, it solves the problem of communication. Well, I know me and my wife have that problem. Oh, who doesn't? It's the 1870s. We all hate our wives. Yes, of course. Yes, exactly. Uh, would you like to try it out? Yeah, I would love to. Show me how it works. Okay, so first, you dial a number. Well, what, what number should I choose? Someone's phone number. What's a phone number? I don't know. Pick a number. I could pick a... I'll try three. Okay, well, three's not going to work. Why would you choose well, why would three? three? That's not stupid. Work? I love the number three. Okay, do you know what? Like, pick up the receiver, okay? 
Okay, what happens now? What do I do? Okay, I don't know why you're trying to find all these flaws in my invention. Well, I'm just a little really... confused, Jordan. What do you mean? It's supposed to talk to another telephone. Where's the other line? I didn't make it yet, but it will be coming soon. You know, who am I supposed to talk to if there's only one? Okay, do you know what? I didn't come here for you to criticize me. Well, maybe you could, uh, maybe you could make two of these next time, Jordan, because yeah. it seems like it's too much thing, and I don't you know really what? know what you're trying to accomplish with By the way, thank you for inventing the microphone you're talking into. No idea what you're talking about. Okay, right. Do you know what? I'm just gonna throw this up with the uh, other piles of garbage I have, like that stupid air conditioner and dishwasher, and you know, what, 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 why did I even make a Higgs boson? What is that? Huh? <laughs> Useless crap. Garbage. Goodbye. Garbage. Goodbye. <laughs> Here's our here's our next ad, uh, Big Dog Daycare. Everybody loves dogs, and everybody also loves a dude with a stunning bod. I know Jordan does. At Big Dog Daycare, we combine these fantasies into reality, helping to turn your dog into an absolutely shredded pooch, and with only a minimal amount of anabolic steroid treatments. You look like an alpha, and your dog deserves to look like one too. Sure, some people like cute dogs. People like Jared from Subway. Is that what you want? You want to be like Jared from Subway? I thought that was children. Yeah, that's what I thought. Didn't think so. <laughs> be, a re- be a real man. <laughs> be a real man with a real dog. <laughs> Call now and you'll receive our exclusive DVD, How to Cope with Your Dog Being Way Hotter Than You. We're tough. We're rough. We're big dog daycare. Who wrote this? <laughs> it is says for us to start barking. Um, anyways, that was uh, big dog daycare. Thank you for Sorry, sponsoring the show. I didn't want to bark for for that ad. That was I was barking pretty- internally the whole time. Levi's cooling off. So welcome to my half of the therapy session. I want you to think about all of your intrusive thoughts, um, and I want you to know that they're right. Okay. Not enough people are, you know, a lot of people who don't have an understanding of psychology will, t- like, not be understanding of what you're going through. I want you to know that I have watched a lot of psychology videos, so I'm an expert. And whatever you are feeling right now that's negative in your life, it is absolutely correct. And you should listen to those voices because if they're the ones you're hearing the most, then they must be right. I'm just trying to even it out. You know, you have your side of it that's like more positive. That's like, tell me about how you're doing. You know, I just want to, you know, yin and yang. Someone's going to be the the realistic one. The realistic one. (laughs) Do it. Do it. (laughs) So it is hard to do a transatlantic accent. Yes, obviously. But (laughs) the thing I found... uh, that helps the most. Not that mine was good in this one, but that's because I'm like trying to improv at the same time. I thought um, mine was awesome. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> went southern there for half of it. The the thing that most people do is go super over the top with it. They're like, oh, you know, yeah, see, I'll, like you yeah. know, but it's My actually troops. quite more subtle. You know, you have to talk like you're not British. Yeah, I was like, gonna say that's very. That it's not. British. It's not. It's like, what are you talking? Watch you know, watch it's, not it's, not it's, not it's not British. It's not British. I just said British. It's not British. It's like this weird mix between We're not it. British. We're from the Atlantic. Well, like, you know, people who say like, oh, people talked like that back then. That's crazy. You know, they yeah. didn't, right? Well, I just, I, I thought it was just like in movies and stuff yeah. that they had the, hey, as you can see, all of the troops are preparing for war. It's like. Against the Japanese. It's half like <laughs> trying to sound good for microphones and half like traditional education telling children at the time that this is the way you should talk huh. and it's like the proper american way you know it's the like proper american more way. like this you know and you're not talking it's very soft it's you very know? soft so so you know, when i say to you crikey <laughs> and if you whisper it then it becomes even more it accurate it because it's like what it's did you do subtle. to me why did you why break you, my heart like this what have you done what have you done? Hobnobbler. And then you Sorry, can do the, you know, the lower accent. Lower like, accent. Like, oh, yeah. Well, well, charmed. Accents 101 with Jordan. Up next, Chinese. Do your Chinese. <laughs> do it. You can't back out. <laughs> no, man. you're doing it. It's, I'm it's, doing it's, Chinese? It's accents with Jordan. You're the one teaching me. Okay. So, you can... <laughs> 
You're going to want to start by not doing a Chinese <laughs> you're accent. Gonna start. Picture yourself in Beijing. <laughs> okay. Um, we've done those two. Okay. Well, karaoke's up next. I love karaoke. I Can we just do karaoke sometimes? We should just like, do a podcast where we only do karaoke, and it's just it's just a wholesome experience. Yeah. It's not about being funny or do entertaining. Do you have a go-to karaoke song? I've actually only done karaoke twice. Um, oh, really? So not really, no. One time I did it, it was really fun. One time I did it, it was my first time, and I just kind of like picked a song that I was listening to in the car on the way over, so I would remember mm. it. The second time I went to karaoke was kind of embarrassing because I like... I had been coaching soccer all day, so mm-hmm. I had been like screaming across the field in a positive, uplifting way, of course. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move this. And when you like, sc- you know, it's just like taxing on your throat to yell all yeah. day. So I would, I'd been yelling for hours. And then I also, before that, I had, I was doing band practice, so I was singing. And then by the time I like got to karaoke, I literally was like talking like this. Mm-hmm. But like, we were all gonna go do it, and so I like went up and chose a song, and literally the whole time I was just like, and everyone was like, "Yay, good job, guys, good job, buddy." It was really I sad. I had a very similarly awful experience with karaoke <laughs> once at like a work function where it was like a lot of people there. Yeah, and uh, I was like, "Hell's yes, I'm gonna do karaoke," and. I go up to the guy and like the guy who's running the karaoke machine is clearly n- does not want to be there. Like he hates it. He's like all these fucking like young kids who are like getting their Having new job. You know? uh, so I, I said, I want to do rich girl, but <laughs> by Hall and Oates, That's he's awesome. like, okay, I go up and it starts and I realize that he does not have the monitor on. So I cannot hear what I am singing, all oh I can hear is people talking and like the faint instrumental. And I went through the entire song and then people were telling me, yeah, we could hear you super cr- clearly. Like I literally was like leaning down so I could oh listen to the God. speaker. It was awful. I hated that. But everyone was complimenting me. It was like, guys, like, please, please don't. Oh, please stop. Me. I know. I'm so good. It's horrible. It's horrible. Well, no, it was like you could tell that it was like a no, night. I know, they were I know. Trying they were to be nice. They're like, like oh. wow, you were no, you were great. Exactly. Not wow, like that a, was so wow, cool, you were Jordan. great. It's like whoa, oh. oh my gosh, no, nice job. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, Jordan and I both hate karaoke now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, we'll do a karaoke eventually. Yeah, exactly. In one of our vlogs that will inevitably be moved towards once we become a. For now, we're gonna show channel. you a quick little sketch about us channeling our awkwardness at karaoke. (laughs) Dude, I cannot believe we landed that deal. That's insane. The look on his face when he raised it to 8 million. Oh Oh my my God. God. Didn't see it coming. (sighs) <sighs> karaoke yeah. karaoke let's go Ooh. all right you're up first okay uh uh do you have a recommendation for a song oh uh it's a little weird but i like uh black hole sun by sun guy mm, yeah Ugh, intense yeah okay um hang on i actually have an idea I okay have, I have all right go for, it. No, go for it Classic, yeah, classic. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Yeah. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Yeah. yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Woo! All right, go Jordan. Thank you, thank you. All right, yeah, you're no, doing another I'm one? I'm doing the vocal warm up. Yeah, yeah, I hear yeah. you. I hear you. Yeah, no, I can do another one. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do this time? Um, (laughs) did a holiday theme. I don't know. There's not a lot of like other holidays. Why don't you do? Let's do a classic. Just some something '80s maybe. '80s. I love the '80s. Okay. There's a whole. I mean, there's like a whole decade. Yeah. No. I mean, there's a lot of. There's a ton of good songs in there. You know, just from any of them. I actually have an idea. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna do that. I have my go-to songs. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. 
Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse horse open sleigh. Woo. All right, you Woo. fucking big <laughs> fan of Jingle Bells. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I it's a good you. song. I hear you. Uh, no. How about you go? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Get one. in there, right, buddy. Right, you gotta right, let it out. I'll let it out one. after I'll today. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go. Yep, classic. In my eyes are indisposed, indisguised. Sorry, I think the audio's off or something. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, there we go. How are you doing? That's. Oh, shoot. I, I didn't mean to do that. That's, I think it just went back to the, to the last song that played. That's okay. But, I mean, you can do it, right? You know the, you know the words. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all, all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Sorry, you can sing too. I yeah, mean, uh, no, it's I mean, okay. Just um, step on your. All right, why don't I do? Um, oh, I, I think it's my turn again now. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, I, I, I went. So it's yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, go yeah, ahead. All right, you choose one. You choose one. Maybe something. I don't know. Maybe let's do some. Actually, I love Jingle Bells too, but it is July. Yeah, it's July, so maybe we should. Let's do something. Let's mix it up a little bit because I feel like you got you got that vocal talent. You got to show off what you can do. Well, no, I can show off my vocal. Talents. No, you can't. Of course, yeah, I mean, you okay, have been. On, you on. have been. Okay, you're gonna do it again. Well, you know. Yeah, no, you're gonna do it again. But I'll do it like jingle bells, jingle bells, you're jingle singing like all the way. way. Do you not like this song? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like. You know, we were having a pretty good time after the board meeting and just like. Look, we did great. Know. We did great at our meeting. Yeah, and we're here to celebrate. I'm. I don't want to be a downer. I'm just thinking, you know, after like the second time you do Jingle Bells, it's kind of time to do something different because, you know, it's But again, every time you listen to it, you get new meaning out of it. Like one I horse only, open sleigh? I know, but I can only have so much fun riding in that. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll choose let's a just, one. just do something different. You're a great singer. Okay. All right. Do something that's going to mix it up and, right. and, you know, have fun with it. Yeah. Have fun. We're no strangers to love, you know the there we rules, go. and so do I. A new commit. This just feels wrong. Uh, no, Jordan. It feels wrong. It feels Jordan. wrong to do this song. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Okay, jingle all right, here we go. Oh, what are you doing? Nope, I'm stopping it. I'm stopping it right there. What's going on? Why are you singing jingle bells, man? Why? It's a good Why song. Are you it's a good jingle bells. In order to bring the Christmas cheer, you have to sing jingle bells a thousand times a year. Santa didn't ask you to sing Jingle Bells a thousand times every Christmas to make presents come? No. Well, then I guess we just come from different backgrounds. What? <laughs> you know, to bring the Christmas spirit, you have to sing Jingle Bells a thousand times. I have to spread that out Who across the to... year, quarterly. You have to... Sorry, you said Santa told you? Yeah, or else all of my family is going to die. Santa told you that? I think it may be cultural differences. I mean, where where are you from again? I mean, this he, is a very Chicago. This is a yeah, no, this is like I mean, this is a very uh organ sort of thing. I never even met Santa. When did you meet Santa? At the mall. You met mall Santa? Well, Santa. Why why does there have to be and a you, mall at the beginning of the it? The mall Santa told you you have to sing Jungle Bells a thousand times a year, otherwise your family's going to die. Yeah, I mean, like, there was also other stuff in there, you know? I don't quite remember all of it. It was mainly the smell of, like, you know, the the, the, the bourbon, but, you know, Santa has to, you know, who of us right. doesn't drink on their day off, you know, when they're, like, at the mall, you okay. know, um, and Jordan, says that your family's going to die if you don't. Jordan, Jordan, that, that w- that's not the real Santa, okay? That's not, it's just a guy who goes to a mall. Like, they have him everywhere. I met mall okay. Santa when I was a kid. You know, everyone has a mall Santa. It's what malls do to get kids to come in. And it makes their parents want to buy presents from the mall. Levi, the kids see the how many times did he make you sing Jingle Bells? I, n- I never. I didn't ever have to sing Jingle Bells. I sang it because it's a good song. Uh, this is weird. This, this has been a weird spirit. This is a weird day. I didn't want it to end like this. Um, okay. Let's just, okay. Let's get back to karaoke, Okay. Okay, can we just please don't play, please don't play Jingle Bells. Jingle. We all hate traffic, and while audiobooks or relaxing music can help, wouldn't you rather just shorten your commute? 
With Traffic Be Gone, you can. Using a revolutionary all-green service, you can cut your commute time by up to 35%. Interested? Here's how it works. First, you send us a digital map of your route to work. Our analysts then get to work identifying the slowest section, such as red lights, stop sign, or speed bumps. Once that's complete, our crew of top-notch engineers goes out and removes those delays. That's right, folks. I'm talking speed bumps literally scraped off the ground. Stop signs cut down where they stand. And while traffic lights are much trickier to take down, we've come up with an ingenious solution. Change all of the lights to green. With traffic be gone, it'll be go, go, go. And with our deluxe package, we'll not only remove those speed bumps and stop signs, but put them down wherever you might choose. Why, would you want to slow down others, you ask? Fuck them. That's why. Traffic be gone, where safety comes second. I would buy that. I would too. I know whose route I would put them Did on. Did they say speed bumps or people scraped off the ground? Well, once you scrape the speed bumps off, the people are probably next. Oh, okay. What was the line I kept breaking on? Um, it was the it was when you wanted to be your turn again. <laughs> just like, saying, I'm so sorry. Like I, I just changed it. Like, <laughs> You you grab you made me sing Jingle Bells and and then you started singing it for me and then I was like okay I'll do another one and you're like uh I think it's my turn <laughs> and then I just gave you a dead look and every time you broke God it's so I love awkward humor like I haven't watched The Office in a while but like. Oh, my Do you know about the, the Scott's Tots episode? Oh my god. That was the very first episode of The Office I ever watched and I almost like vomited. It's <laughs> so funny though. I couldn't because do it. Because you don't like awkward humor, right? Like I hate it's just it. why? Like oh, didn't you find god. what we just did like hilarious? Yeah. Yes. But it's like I don't know. There's something that's like okay. I do enjoy some awkward humor. Nathan, for you, I like. Mm. I don't like things that seem realistic, though. Like That's what? my problem. Because I'm like, with Nathan View, it's like, okay, this is clearly a joke. Like, yes, it's awkward for them, but it's like, oh, my perspective is like, I'm watching a comedy show. I'm watching a guy kind of mess with people, and yeah. it's like silly and funny. Or like Borat, where it's so over the it's top. It's like, where it's like, yes, it's awkward, but it's like, obviously, this is comedy. Mm -hmm. Even The Office, where it is like a comedy show, it's like realistic right the characters are themselves yeah like they they play that act throughout the whole the whole thing and it's like a realistic scenario like with borat or nathan few they are characters interacting with other people yeah. that are just kind of like this is weird mm -hmm. i think that's funny but one it's like like in breaking bad that one scene where he's given his fucking son tequila and oh, then yeah. hank takes it away and he comes after and he goes, hey, my I bottle, my house, I swear my to God, son. I paused it before any of that dialogue because I knew it was about to get awkward. I like, I literally paused it because I felt the nausea come up and I walked away and I haven't oh watched Breaking Bad in like three months because oh I can't do you it. You gotta watch it. I have a full recap of the series I made in an hour where I was just screaming into a mic uh, <laughs> that I cannot show you or to our audience until you finish watching okay, the show. Okay, all right, I'll get back to it. I'll get back to it. Um, What's our next topic here? Okay, we did karaoke. Ah. Are we? Have we only done two, or have we done three? Well, I think we've done. No, we did telephone, Shark Tank. Oh yeah, karaoke. Shark so that's okay. three. Um, we've got two more. We have the AI jobs and the I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone could work well. Yeah, I think we should do. I'm on the phone. Okay. Um, so please tell me, Levi, what inspired this idea? <laughs> what happened? What I mean, did, what did I used to through? ride the bus like all the time. I'm going to start riding the bus again soon. But like you just meet characters on the bus. There's always someone who's just going to make your day by them being themselves. Mm. You know, I already told you about the time where I got on the bus and there was a guy like screaming about like, Joe Biden and them spying on us and I don't even know who them was but just going ape shit crazy and then I like went to like get off the bus it, he's literally still screaming and I went to like get off the bus and I had to like move by him and I was like uh, excuse me and he's like oh I'm so sorry 
and then like moved out of the way. And then I walked up and literally as the bus doors are closing, I just hear him go, and don't even get me started about her emails. I was just like, what the fuck? That that reminds me kind of the when we did the COVID rally. Um, oh my God. That's just ago. footage unseen. Yeah. We once went to a anti-COVID rally to interview people just yeah. to see how it would work. Well, it wasn't anti-COVID because that makes it sound like people didn't want there to be COVID. Anti-vax it was an anti-vax rally. There we go, yeah. And we, yeah, we we just started like interviewing people. I swear to God, there's like a 10 minute interview maybe of Jordan talking to like just this guy with a massive flag and he's got his it's fucking... InfoWars like, flag. Info he was... Wars, and say, and basically, I did that thing where you like really try and lead them down like further and further paths to see there how were, far... There were maybe like one or two moments in that that I was like, oh, that's actually... This might actually be funny, but then for like, the most part, for like, the most part, it was insane. I mean, we're not good at it. Yeah, you know, we don't. Uh, know what it we just were didn't doing. pan out. It wasn't particularly funny because I was too scared to say. We were anything. terrified. Yeah, it's terrifying. We're also, like at the time, we were like twenty. Yeah, yeah. So we're a little bit younger, and all mm-hmm. of these people are like full on adults. Yeah. So and we're just on the streets in the middle like, of a fucking rally. And it's dark after a little bit. Yeah. Like, okay. To be fair, it is like a very nice part of town. It's so fine. Like, no, it's like I wasn't worried like, about that. I was more just like, it's intimidating because there's yeah. a lot of people there, and they're all like, you know, you just know that if you say one thing, like it could very quickly turn against you. That reminds you know? me of the time that I went to this, uh, like, church. Where I had to go for like, like I was supporting my friend and he was like uh, doing this like concert series and it was all Christian rock. And oh. like everyone was like, it's not the right word, but vibing to it so hard. And we're like preaching. And I was like, I feel so out of place here, <laughs> but I want to pretend like I fit in because I'm terrified as to what will happen. Not that anything's bad. Like everyone terrified was super of nice. What happens when you that don't sounds like awful. Rock. But like there's just something about like. You know you're not going to get in, like, bad trouble. But being in a room where you're the only person who thinks something and everyone else is on the same page. Yeah. Um, no, it is, like... It's just a natural, like, I I'm do not belong in this claim. Part of, I'm just going to join yeah. the group here. Exactly. Yeah. No, I hear you. So that's how you. we became anti-vax. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just got to go with what works. Yeah. I didn't want to get beat up. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. I think we'll just go maybe like nine to four. And then yeah, no, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and then we'll get we'll get James to finish it up. Okay. Cool. Alright, well I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hey, do you know what time the bus is coming? Yeah, I think around thirty minute mark, I think so James we're about fifteen th- minutes away. On the phone. Yeah. No, just schedule it okay, schedule it for Saturday, because I have a meeting Friday. Or if there's a red eye on Friday, I'll take that. Okay. All right, bye. Are you still on the phone? Am I on the phone? No. Oh, okay, cool. No, I'm not on the phone. Yeah, I mean, red eyes. Awful. I once had to take one to Beijing. No, it actually works really well. uh, I don't know. Like, sometimes it's nice. It connects to my phone, and then I don't even know. I can just leave my phone in my pocket, and it's just like... Are you still on the phone? I'm I'm on the phone. You told me you weren't. Just keep it working. You're not wearing Bluetooth. Yeah. No, I, I like the way that it, it, it feels. It's not too tight. Yeah. Yeah, of course. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. My name is Jordan, by the way. Oh, that's that's weird. That's my cousin's name. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I got a oh. lot of cousins, but, mm. you know. Where do you so come I guess from? It's less likely. Uh, Chicago. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to book the flight? What? Yeah. Yeah, no, I just want to, I mean. The flight. No, I know. I'm, so, it's, it, it is weird. It is weird. Are you still on the phone? No, I'm so, yeah, I'm talking. Can we? No, I, I mean, I hate that tie. God, yeah. No, the blue one? No, it's terrible. It does not look good because it doesn't match your hair at all. No, blue ties and black hair don't go together. Are you still on the phone? I'm, st- I'm talking to someone. I'm Can sorry. you stop? No, don't do, don't wear that. Don't wear that. Okay. All right, bye. Uh, hey, Jordan. Oh, hey, yeah. I just, yeah, I know this is kind of out of the blue, but um, I just wanted to, I guess, ask how you're, how you're doing. Because, you know, I'm not always the best communicator, so I wanted to. 
Oh. S- see if you're doing it okay, because it's that's that's yeah. very nice of you to say for someone I just met at a yeah. bus stop. But like you know, yeah, I things have been okay, I guess. And I mean, how's I'm, mom? Oh, my mom's doing. She's not great. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. she had that stroke back in um, January, so it's just been kind of tough. I've had to really take care of her, and it's put stress on me and yeah, Alyssa. Stroke and is just, not a not a joke. It's yeah, it isn't. it's a real commitment. It's to really take care of someone, and rehabilitate there. It's not only that. It's just like you know, like when a stroke happens to the left side of your brain. Like, you know, it doesn't really, you're no, sagging no, face no, and it's just like, I look you, at her the and the right I'm like, side is almost like what she used to be and the left side is, yeah, I don't even recognize her anymore. Scary. So, well, yeah, yeah. Thanks, well, man, yeah. I, 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 really I, lo- I love, I love you. Talk about that. I love you. I love you too. Okay. I love and I'm, too, I'm, man. I'm going to fly in. Thanks. I'm going to fly in on. Sir, are you still night. on the phone? I'm trying to talk to my cousin. Her mother Your just co- had a stroke. This is a conversation that does not need to be interrupted. Well, I'm sorry. No, I love I love you, Jordan. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Great. Oh. Hey. What's up? Hey, it's uh it's me. It's the guy you're sitting next to at the bus stop. Oh. <laughs> How did you get my phone number? It's uh, it's part of my job. Okay. Um, to find people. But that's not the point. I, I I just wanted you to know I'm sorry. I I hear I hear you when you'd say that you're you're going through a lot and I you know my aunt went through a, a stroke and with your mom going through one I can only imagine how difficult that is because I'm you know, I'm close with my aunt, but imagining my mom going through that that's that's horrible. And uh you know, I just I want to apologize for the way I've been acting. I'm just really stressed. and We've all been there. We've all been there. There's, I just wish I could... I, I'm i sorry. I, I'm sorry. That's all I wanted to say. Well, I hope you can... Apology accepted. Forgive me. All right. You apology want accepted. Shake on it. Dude, I'm on the fuck. Well, I don't know about you, Jordan, but I have over a thousand IQ points on Genius.com thanks to my contribution to uh, The Goat. Eminem's lyrical base. Uh, do you get IQ points on Genius.com? Yeah, or is that it's a like joke? A, no, it's no, it's actually a thing where like oh if gosh. you go and like annotate things. Actually, I I think I actually got all my points because I like transcribed some like smaller artists and mm-hmm. then they got like mildly popular. And then when people like go and like view the lyrics page, it's like oh my god, wow, thanks for transcribing these lyrics. I think whatever, I've only but. gone on to Genius lyrics for epic rap battles of history lyrics. I love Genius Lyrics so much. Like, it's it's actually so interesting. Because sometimes I do hear something, and I'm like, what does he mean by that? And I go on, and all of course, all the time, there's, like, nothing, because no one knows what the fuck anybody is talking about. But it is kind of fun to sometimes see, especially when they do, like, the Genius Lyric interviews. They'll, if they do a Genius Lyric interview for a song, Genius, the actual company, will go in and, like, annotate the line that they talked about with like direct quotation oh, wow. from the artist, which is, which is cool. That's cool. It's, it's, it's interesting to hear about, but yeah, because of, uh, because of the way that works, we just thought it would be interesting to see what, you know, someone a little bit outside of the scope of who genius typically interviews, mm-hmm. uh, might look like in, in a genius interview. Yo, what's up? My name is Levi, um, and I'm gonna tell you about my new hit song, uh, My Dog. You're inside my head, memories of us in bed, how much I miss you, I really want to kiss you. So yeah, like, uh, I like, um, wrote this song like about my dog. And, um, we used to, like, lie in bed together. Obviously, like, miss him because he's not uh, here anymore. And, like, uh, yeah, I just, like, want to kiss him. But, like, in a way that you would, like, kiss a dog, obviously. Like, not in, like, a romantic way or anything. Just, like, you know, like, uh, you kiss a dog that we all, uh, we all do with as dog owners. We kiss our dogs, so. When we brought you in today, we thought that the song was going to be about your recent divorce with your wife. So, look, I understand that that's, like, what the media is focused on right now. But, like, 
you know, my emotions are not like dictated by society's expectations. My dog is like a big part of my life. Or sorry, like was a big part of my life. And so that's what my emotional like radar has been honing in on. I mean, it's called my dog. Like, obviously it's about a dog. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, never mind. So okay. Let's just see the rest of the song. A beach of golden sand. I miss holding your uh, paw. I see you everywhere. The sunlight in your hair, uh, fur. So, uh, hang on, this isn't about, this isn't about your wife. It's not about my wife. Like I said, the song is called My Dog. There's two words, and if it said my wife, it would be about my wife. I guess technically it would have yeah. to say my ex-wife, but that's not really important because it's not about her, and it's about my dog. Like, I understand, it's like weird. That is like a weird verse. You're like, what? I thought he was gonna say like holding your hand, but no, obviously I didn't. I understand that that's what you guys are focused on. You're focused on my ex-wife. Levi, how's your ex-wife doing? I don't know, we're not together anymore because she's my ex-wife. She doesn't even talk to me. We, we are divorced, okay? That's how ex-wives work. So yes. stop asking me about my ex-wife. Let me sing my song about my dog. Sorry, Mr. Erdman. Okay, this is the last verse, okay. You are my ex-wife. Uh, we are divorced. Okay, so it is about your ex-wife. Shut ex -wife. the- What I find funny about that sketch is I'm canonically believing that it's your character from the Impractical Jokers <laughs> one we did last week. It's all in one universe. Where you got divorced, and then oh you started God. your music career. And now you're writing That's a so song good. called My Dog. My a, dog. A fun fact, this was originally supposed to be in the last podcast, but... Oh, is it going to be in this one? Yeah. Oh, I thought this was just, you were just going to... We look completely different. I know. I thought we were just going to say we're from the future. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. Ooh. It'll go somewhere. Okay, wait. Whee! This would be funny. Whee! Can we do like the intro to it again, but okay. we're like... Ooh. I'm Jordan. From the future. From the future. future. One week in the future. future. I'm Our, Levi. From the future. Future. Our, um, yeah, we forgot you to do realize this. I can add in echo. You don't have to do that. <laughs> but it's so much more fun to do it manually. <laughs> can you do can you do the future, 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 and I'll add echo to it so it'll be even okay, more. Okay, future, 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 future. And I'm back. Um, wow. Anyways, we forgot to introduce this sketch slash run out of time. Um, also, we already introduced it, so we're going to cut to a new take okay. right now. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> This next sponsor is Meal Kit Go. At-home meal kits are a great idea, cutting out the shopping and preparation and allowing us to have fresh meals whenever we need. But what if you still don't have enough time to deal with all the cooking and cleanup? Yeah. Introducing Meal Kit Go, a revolutionary new service in the meal kit industry. With Meal Kit Go, instead of sending ingredients to your doorstep, we send a variety of options to a secondary location. Oh, that's great. You yeah. can visit the location where you choose one of the options available and they prepare the food just for you. Because that's the worst part about like meal kits, like, you know, hello. You don't have stuff. options, right? You have right? to make the meal. Yeah, you have to be the one to make it. You don't get to up. ask someone else to do it, and you only have one option, really. Yeah. So I like this exactly. service so far. And instead of wa wasting your time commuting from the kitchen to the dining room table, an additional person will deliver the food right to your table and even refill your water, saving you tens of valuable seconds. That's huge for me. Gosh. Huge. Too busy to visit this location. With our Meal Kit Go app, you can even request food from certain locations who will then deliver the food to your doorstep. Yeah, so let go of the old traditional meal kit services and upgrade your game with Meal Kit Go. Subscribe today. Use the code close contact at checkout. Damn, you know what I love on YouTube? Interviews with people who are inbred or heroin addicts. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> but honestly, honestly, okay. So I am not even sure if we're going to release this. This is just in <laughs> case I decide to at one point. Okay. Uh, I thought of this idea because I love Soft White Underbelly so much. I yeah. think it's insane uh, what they're able to do because like hearing these people's stories, it's like just so powerful and like, I like honestly, if I could have a job like that where I literally just interview random people on the street who've like been through so much shit. Yeah, or maybe they're anti vax and they want. <laughs> yeah. But like, so <laughs> this sketch.
<laughs> this we are never going to release this sketch we without this to. introduction oh, to oh, it oh. because it could come off a certain way which is jordan is constantly concerned about how things come off and i'm just constantly concerned about getting off and together, yeah <laughs> and together together we, we make we are decent content insecure and horny <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, insecure and horny. <laughs> that, that should, should be the be name of our show. Name. Yeah, jeez. Um, <laughs> it's a good mix. I like it because you have a very fuck you attitude, and I'm like, <laughs> let's think about the message here, people. Let's think about the way we're Honestly, presenting ourselves to the world. Like, I don't think it's bad. The twist is all just the the twist is just the interviews. Of, the interviewer is a piece yeah. of shit. It's not like talking down exactly. to the, Which, the people. Actually, the thing that inspired this is that YouTube Shorts. The guy who interviews the people came up on Joe Rogan. Um, Whoa, I did not know yeah. that. And I really wanted to like see what he thinks of it. And like, I found it really interesting because obviously he's like very respectful to the people he interviews. But mm-hmm. at one point he like, like the way he talks about them, like, you know, he's like, oh, I can tell when these people aren't clean. And like when they come in, they haven't like changed at all. And I'm like, some people I'm like, you're never going to change. You're going to stay like that forever. And other people are like, and I mean, it's a hard truth if you've been interviewing them for that. Yeah, long. I'm, I mean, I'm sure if he like interviews people for like years and years and like, yeah. you know, imagine interviewing a heroin addict and they're like, and they tell you about like their family and like all their like their life before everything that happened and how hard it is to live life now. And like, then you see them three years later and it's exactly the same. And yeah. it's just like, you know, I, I'm sure you just get to a point where it's just like, God damn, like this is just going to be this person's exactly. life. And that's probably pretty fucking demoralizing. It honestly. is. Honestly. Yeah. So, I but I can imagine growing desensitized. But anyways, the, the idea is here for this next one is less about being realistic and more about what if the interviewer was just a little bit more what uh, if he was a little mean a little rude or what uh, if someone had a face they couldn't fix <laughs> what would he say then let's go okay so uh can you introduce yourself please yeah um, my name is jordan okay and uh you know what makes you different jordan um, you know, I know that there's a bit of exploitation that's natural to this kind of interview thing, but I hope that when you put me in the thumbnail, you portray me as the person I am rather than a person yeah, with a dumb face. Yeah, my producer's saying that you should actually turn around because oh. the because people don't want to see your dumb, ugly face and your big nose. Okay, I thought this was a safe space, but... Um, well, we're trying to make it know. safer by having you face the other way. Yeah, you know, I thought this channel was supposed to be, you know, inclusive of all people, regardless of background. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, economic. unless you're visually impaired, no one's going to be able to watch this if you face forward. Yeah, no, so, I understand. What was your childhood like, having a big ugly dumb face and a fat face and weird ears and a dumb nose like that and having to go out every day with your dumb ugly face not good (laughs) (laughs) hi again it's uh it's levi back with the positive side of uh therapy see how i mispronounced that word you know Earlier in my life, I would have uh, gotten real frustrated with myself for that. But now I just recognize that mistakes are mistakes. And sometimes it's hard to do that. But when you can do that, you can really become a better person. I know Jordan was telling you earlier to listen to your intrusive thoughts. And I'm not here to tell you that you can't ever. Sometimes it's nice to do something unexpected or maybe something a little crazy. But it's also important that you check in with yourself and recognize... When am I being myself? Or when am I acting like someone else? Someone who I wish I was? Or who I wish that other people thought of me as? It's a hard thing to realize, but make sure you check in with yourself every so often to make sure you're living up to your own standards and values. This is like weird. This is not funny at all, by the way. I don't (laughs) know why this bit is what I decided to go with, but... That was a fun one. All right. That was pretty cool. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully yeah. our uh, our sketches were a little bit more coherent this time. I don't think they were. Probably not. Probably not. But we'll get better. I think, Supposedly. okay, honestly, the some of the stuff we've 
already edited is kind of amazing. I love the Thanksgiving I love, one. I love, I love thanks, all of them. The Thanksgiving one, I would say, is not even like the, not even close to the best one because we kind of yeah. like got we got a little bit misty in there, but like, well, yeah, it looks great. It, the, I like it for the style. Mexi- I like those that's variety. true. Mexican restaurant and Impractical Jokers are, are literally made me cry when that's I was <laughs> watching them. Impractical <laughs> Jokers is so fucking funny. I'm still editing that one. That's, that's gonna, gonna be, be so great. good. Yeah. Um, anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in. Before we go, though, one last look at the snail cam. Say goodbye to the snails. Wow. Wow. I like that one. I like that one. Look at this thing. It's They're co- eating. Wow, they're That's eating. That's so cool. I love snails. This is so much fun. Wow. We're going to fade out from here. So, you know, we can say whatever we want. You know, say say the most offensive thing at the end of the podcast. Oh. I don't believe that people exist. <laughs> Human rights are optional. Yeah. They call it... Why Why don't people ever do human wrongs? Am I yeah. right? I feel like cultural appropriation hasn't gone far enough. Yeah, I feel like we need to appropriate more. Yeah. You know? Who says that they deserve anything, really? Why do we call America a melting pot? What are we, f***ing Swiss? <laughs> was that a... Was that a fondue joke? Yeah, it was a fondue joke. Okay, that's it. We're <laughs> done. We're, We're done. done. <laughs>